Vance Havner was one of the most quoted and quotable preachers that America ever produced. He had some wonderfully quaint sayings, and one of them was, there are two types of people in this world, those who are optimistic and those who have misty optics. There are two types of people in the world, those who are optimistic and those who have misty optics. If your glasses are steamed up, it's hard to see clearly. And sometimes in this world, we can't see all that clearly. Some people are optimistic. They have a positive outlook in life. Others have misty optics. They allow the trials and the difficulties and the tribulations of life on this earth to obscure their vision and their eyes and their view from the things that really matter. In the book of Psalms, in Psalm 42, we have the psalmist pouring out his soul before God. He's discouraged. He's downcast. In fact, he asks himself, why art thou cast down, O my soul? And he describes his soul, and the soul is the seat of the personality, the will, the intellect, the emotions, the real personality within these bodies of ours, the human soul. And the psalmist said that his soul was cast down within him. We're not exactly sure what the problem was, we're not exactly sure what the circumstances were, but we do know that the psalmist was discouraged. He was downcast. He wasn't looking optimistically at his circumstances. He had got misty optics. The trials and the burdens of life had allowed him to just get discouraged and not see the hand of God in his circumstances. Many people can be like that and we can all of times, even as Christians, even as believers, whenever we are discouraged and we're downcast. One old Church of England cleric many years ago said, the Christian's chief occupational hazards are depression and discouragement. And maybe the things of this world, disappointments in life, maybe people have let you down, maybe there's hardship, maybe there's difficulty, have just clouded over your spiritual vision and you really can't trace the hand of God perhaps in your circumstances. Warren Wearsby once said, we can always trust God even if we can't trace God. Optimistic or misty optics. While the psalmist here was discouraged, he finishes on the note of optimism. He asks himself the question, Psalm 42 verse 11, why art thou cast down, O my soul? Why art thou disquieted within me? And then he looks optimistically towards the heavens. Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him, who is the health of my countenance and my God. Life can get us down. We turn on our televisions, we listen to the news, uh, we think sometimes about life in this earth, and there's not a lot of it that might lead us to be optimistic. Rather, they might mystify our optics. But whenever we look heavenward and they put our hope and our faith and our trust in God, the one who the psalmist said, Thou art my trust, thou art my hope from my youth. And we look heavenward and they put our faith and our trust and our confidence in God, we can have an optimistic outlook on life. I think it was in Psalm 27 that David said, I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of God in the land of the living. Life can get us down, but whenever we look heavenward and we look to the hills from whence comes our help, our help comes from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. And just to finish with those beautiful words, Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 and 2, the Word of God says that we're not to allow the things of this world and the weights of this world and the sins that easily beset us were to run with patience the race that is set before us looking on to Jesus the author and the finisher of our faith who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross despised the shame and is set down at the right hand of God it's not often that you see me wearing glasses I usually only wear them for driving or for maybe watching a screen or something that's in the distance my short vision is very good, long vision isn't so good, and sometimes whenever I put on the glasses and things up close just aren't as crystal clear as they might be without them. There's two types of people in this world, those who have optimism, those who are optimistic, and those who have misty 
optics. I wonder which type of person you are. Bring God into your life. Bring Christ into your crisis. And let's look optimistically at our lives and our future whenever we bring God into our lives and seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto us. God bless you, friends. Thank you for listening this afternoon.